Greetings, 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 Earthlings. This is Jennifer from Jennifer's Closet and 4TXSisters.com. That's 4TexasSisters.com. Um, that's our Etsy site. <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to talk to you today about or show you this um, tote that I made. A friend of mine um, probably literally ripped these off of her daughter-in-law's body to give to me to make something. Um pair of pink camo pants um, and it just screamed to be made into something really cool I found this uh, pair of men's pants either dockers or polos that blended very well with it and <clears throat> also found some lining that would work well uh, and my friend also gave me probably ripped it off the back of her granddaughter a uh, pink camo jacket so I utilized that also in the making of this tote. And I've got enough of the pants left that I'll probably do something else with. Uh, to start off, each of these front pockets are full size that, that they came with originally, which means I had to lift off the pockets to put the straps on, or else I was going to have to sew the pockets shut. And who want? Raise your hand if you like fake pockets. You won't see me raising my hand. I like pockets and I like lots of them. So, uh, I was limited basically on how this laid out that you only have two pockets up front. Zippers closed, uh, sewn shut. However, this little tie string, actually I was able to keep that uh, functional. So you can actually pull this tote closed and it also closes with some Velcro that I dyed. I already got fabric or thread catching to it. Ugh, Velcro collects everything. Anyway, the pockets. There's my cell phone in this one. They're both the same size uh, and fairly large, so I suspect that you could put your cell phone in there. <coughs> Let's do some real quick measurements here from side to side. I'm uh, going to say uh, 20 by seam to seam, uh, bottom seam by 17. 20 across by 17. Now let's flip it over onto the back and there we have the front of the kids camo jacket that she gave me. This pocket here is a little bit longer. It's They're, they're narrow though and I could not open them up because of the design. I, I tried, thought about it, but it was not going to work. It was going to just distort the jacket front too much. So you've got a longer pocket here, narrow, narrow, short, narrow, short, narrow, short. And there's a hidden pocket. If you find it, then it won't be hidden to you anymore. Let's, oh, oh, let's look inside here. Inside this pocket, it's lined with the same lining material that's going to, you're going to find inside. This was, this little jacket was a squeeze girls jacket. Um, this is a nine and a, nine and three quarters by seven and a half inch, and I did try it earlier. You can fit this down in here. So if you had a tablet or something that was nine and three quarters or less, um, it's going to fit fine. Or you just put it in this way. Easy to get a ten inch device in here, um, and this little bit of elastic kind of keeps that closed. Anyway, let's quickly look in the inside here. This is, I did not hand dye the lining. I did dye the uh, zippers and the um, ribbon here that I used for the zipper, tab, uh, zipper pulls. I did, and the pulls to hold while you zip. I did hand dye those. You've got a really large pocket here, and you've got uh, pocket here. This if Deb, my sister, were going to carry this. She'd be putting her uh, big sunglasses in there. Place for your pens and pencils or stylus if it's got a pen holder thingy on it. Um, D ring. Hang your keys inside the bag, and a uh, zipper that I would say probably would be uh, if you were trying to carry your purse or your, your purse things in here along with whatever you needed to tote 
probably your wallet. Uh, and Deb would be carrying her wallet and her passport and um, everything else that she could get in there. Her pills and all that. This The pants were Magellan Sportswear. It was a size 10 if you're curious. Um, anyway, there you have it. It's a, a large tote. I'm going to be putting it on Etsy. It is fully washable. Uh, just throw it in the wash and I would do it on a cold cycle and then I would uh, either let it drip dry uh, dry or line dry or you could throw it in the, the dryer. Every time you throw something in the dryer though it fades the fabric out. So of course you know that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, who said totes were made to be washed anyway? It's just a feature of having one that's made out of fabric. Okay. I think I'm rambling now, so I think I'll just say goodbye. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, visit us on our Etsy site for TXSisters.com. Leave me a message if you want. Um, in the meantime, love you. Peace. I'm out of here. Bye.